Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Exotica. In today's video, I got a little review on a product that I just got today. I want to show you guys. I haven't really done a video like this in a while, so I'm going to take a bong rip real quick, and then we'll get right into uh, a review on uh, this little guy. But, uh, here, I'll give you a, a teaser real quick. Um, I got a little nug right here of some lemon, lemon something. Lemon G, maybe. But, uh, alright, so this is an all-in-one smoking device. Or basically a metal dugout, if you really want to get technical. But, go ahead and take this lid off. You have your one-hitter. Looks like a little half of a cigarette. Um, uh, then it also comes with a little poker, you know, clean it out. And then, it also has a spot right here. You can put a little mini Bic lighter in there. That's not actually for your uh, your dugout because if you see, you're not really able, able to get it out. <clears throat> but anyways, then when you flip it over, you got this side. I'm going to go ahead and tap this. I do got some butt in this already. But you go ahead, and as you can tell, you can set this off to the side. You have a little one nug grinder which for a one hitter that's basically perfect but here let's test out this grinder and see how it works i'm just gonna go ahead and you know kind of break this up a little bit more get any stem uh th the weed i'm smoking on doesn't really have that much stem it's very minimal which is pretty good all right there you go as you can see Got my weed in it. You just take this. This is the metal part of the grinder. Just go ahead. And as you can see, just go ahead and grind that little nug. Shouldn't take very long to actually grind this. But it is kind of a, you know, not much room to work with here. But it actually grinds the bug quite well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Here, let me grab my tray here. There we go. Let me make sure this is all clean. All right, there we go. So, now let's go ahead get this weed out of here. This extra weed. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, looks like there's a little bit of bud stuck in here, but I mean, that was probably because I packed it a little too tight. But I mean, it's not much bud at all. Go ahead, put that back in the middle. Go ahead and grind that up. This actually did a really good job of grinding this. And just like that, you have your little grinder. Uh, you can see, I grinded up some bud. Uh, well, here, I'll get it. I'll let you guys see real quick what we're working with here. Pretty good grind, honestly. Not bad. All right, here, let's go ahead and lift this up. And as you can see, not bad at all. Pretty nice little grind. I typically use my, uh, you know, my, my chromium crusher, which I've had this grinder a couple years now. Really good grinder. But, so, first impressions of the, the little mini grinder, not bad. Did a really good grind. Grinded a decent amount of bud. We'll go ahead and pack up a little bong rip here. And then the rest of your bud, what I usually do is I just take uh, something, you know, get it all in a pile. And then you can just throw that extra right in your reserve. And this all has O-rings on it, so it keeps everything uh, airtight and waterproof. I don't know how waterproof this is. I haven't really tried that. Maybe I'll do that in the next video. All right, there we go. So, now, as you can see, this side is really well made. That air, uh, This O-ring, you can tighten that on there pretty nicely. And that's going to be nice and smell proof. <clears throat> you can't even smell. And then you just put your uh, top lid back on. 
and you set this off to the side. Again, you have your poker for your one hitter. Set that there. We got this bong. Also, this bong was really stained up. I don't know if you guys remember it, but the pineapple had stains all in it. The That part of the glass down stem was complete. Well, one side of it was still black. So I didn't have any ISO. So what I decided to do, I know this is, uh, isn't suggested, and I, everywhere I looked, no one uh, really recommended it. But you can use bleach. And I know that sounds weird, but I use like a laundry bleach, basically. Uh, like the low spill or low splatter or whatever. Put a little bit of that in, shake it around. It's not going to look like it's doing anything because it's not going to like change color. I mean, unless your bong is really dirty, it may. I clean my bong with really hot water beforehand and get all that junk out because I, I don't want it to slime up everything. Uh, but yeah, bleach. Now the smell. It, the smell, even if you rinse it out with really hot water, it's not going to matter how much you rinse it out. You're going to have to rinse it out. with. You're going to want to take some dish uh, soap, uh, like Dawn. I use Dawn. Just put a lot of Dawn in there. Like, fill it up to where, like, the water is. I mean, you really don't have to fill it that much. And then usually what I do is I just put hot water through it, let it sit, let it get all soapy, and I just keep doing that till it rinses all the way out. And then I rinse it quite a few times after that. No smell, you can't even tell bleach was in this. Super clean, super clean. Like this bong has not looked this clean since ever. Uh, but yeah, cheers dudes. We're already six minutes in and I still haven't hit this. Cheers. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, good hit. All right, so <clears throat> let me set this here out of the way. Go ahead and take a drink. All right, so you got your weed in here. So let's just test this out, see how it smokes, if it's, uh, how the smoking on it is. All right, so you got your, your lid off, you got your one hitter. As you can see, got a decent sized bowl, a little bit of ashes in there. I'll actually go ahead and make sure I scrape a little more of that out. I, I know it was that thick in there still. All right. <coughs> That's pretty good. All right. So, um, I'm honestly going to probably buy another one hitter to go with this because this one's just kind of tiny. So the heat, this isn't something that you can, you know, keep packing up. It's good. It's gonna get a little bit of heat on it, but I want one of the Riot. It's from Riot R Y O T. Uh, they they make really nice one hitters and dugouts. Buy and see them till after I got this one, but I really like this design. The only thing I would like better is um, the one hitter from Riot because it's just nice. It's got an ejector on it so you can eject the ashes without having to use a poker which is pretty pretty nice um, and yeah it's got like teeth and shit to make sure it grabs a hold of your butt a little bit better this I noticed it's not as uh, I mean if you're not worried about dropping any I don't like dropping or wasting any weed so if you're at home, this isn't bad, but if you're out and about, like, I just dropped, like, a decent amount. Luckily, I have my tray here to catch the majority of everything that's falling. But, like I said, this has got a pretty decent... I like to pack it kind of tight. Out on the go, I don't pack it this tight, just for the simple fact that, you know, requires a little more time and effort to get it nice and pack, like, super tight. And then also at the end... It's kind of harder to clean but there we go we got a nice little pack as you can see nice little pack but yeah let's try this boys cheers uh smoking out of a one hitter
Mm, yeah, that was nice. But yeah, it's already starting to get fairly warm. Not warm enough that it's going to burn you, but it's definitely warm. Uh, starting to, like, I can feel on my lips. They still feel warm from it. So, I don't really know. I mean, a one-hitter is obviously going to get warm because of the size. There's nowhere really to retain the heat. But I mean, you know. Everybody knows that about one hitters. Let's go ahead. Uh, see if there's anything left in this. All right. Let's ash this and see. See about how this looks. See if it cached everything. Because that's my main thing. That's one of the main reasons that I wanted to get one of these. Is you can get quite a few decent hits off one pack. And uh, if you like smoking, you know. You can still feel like you're smoking without having to have a bong. But here. Let me go ahead and I just usually stick the poker in from the top. And usually you can just go. And just like that falls out all the ashes and stuff you can give her one last rub I usually try to make sure as much of the ash and shits out because you don't want it to get in with your fresh product but uh, let's see can you see through that uh, yeah you can see through it I mean, she's a little dirty but uh, I can see through it, but yeah. Uh, I suck. There you go. But yeah, it's not. Cool thing about this. Yeah, I went to blow that out and got fucking Scooby Snacks. But there you go. Now you can see through it. There you go. Nice. But anyways, let's uh see. Um. I mean, you have a little bit of, little bit of green still in there. Um, I mean, oh no, I mean it's it, yeah, it pretty much, yeah, pretty much smokes it all. So you don't have to worry about it wasting any, which is obviously huge plus. I shouldn't have did that because now my hands are dirty. But here, let me put this little bit of excess weed that fell off. Want to dump my tray? I don't want that ashes on my shit anymore. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Take off that, take off this. Usually what I do is I just, then yeah, dump it in the trash. I like I like to keep my tray clean, and uh, usually if you have really good weed, or just it has a lot of trichomes on it in general, it'll make your, it'll start making your tray uh, sticky. I don't like that. So I always try to, you know, give it a nice little, nice little scrub, make sure any of that stickiness from my bud is off. Kind of preserves the tray a little bit, you know, makes cleaning a little less minimal. But as you can see, this tray still collects a little bit of stuff, but yeah, there's my tray, just a little panda, little panda, got the art kind of making it look trippy, but here. Show you, all right, there's no weed on this tray. Here we go. Show you how much weed I have in here right now. So you can take a look. All right, here's how much weed I had left in it from, you know, about a gram or so that I've rolled up or uh, grinded. So yeah, it can hold it. And this chamber, I mean, look. That's up to right there on my finger. So basically to my knuckle right here is how much weed you can store up in there. 
So you can pack it down. Also, there was no smell in this, by the way. I did smell this to make sure there was no, like, uh, factory smell or, like, chemical smell. Not factory smell, but, you know, like, chemicals, uh, paint, things of that nature. You don't want to be smoking out of a dugout that's got that. That shit can absorb into your weed. And, yeah, you just don't want to be smoking that. The fumes and whatnot. Uh, okay. So, how would I rate this? Overall, good product, solid. I mean, it feels feels good in your hand. Feels about like a one of those metal um, flashlights that are kind of heavy. Feels just like one of those. Uh, so far, I don't have any complaints other than the one hitter it comes with. Like I said, it does hold a little bit of heat. So if you don't like, you know, if you don't like your mouth getting or like your lips getting potentially burnt or kind of warm off this, then I would definitely grab another, uh, another one hitter. But honestly, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order one from Riot, throw that in where the mini, uh, the mini Bic lighter goes in. Because as you can see, there's still plenty of room, so I can get a, a little bit bigger of a one-hitter. Toss it in there, plus you have the, the extra room from there as well. So you go ahead, have two one-hitters in this. Or, I mean, like I said, you could carry your, go ahead and carry your, um, what is it? Uh, you can go ahead and carry a Bic lighter. I don't know why that's so hard for me to talk. This video is so long, I didn't realize it was going to be this long, but whatever. I want you guys to get a serious feel for it. And that's always my thing, is videos are really short on dugouts. Like, I mean, I get that there's not much to talk about. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. But, yeah. So, uh, I like to clean. I'm anal. I like to keep everything kind of clean while it's in here. There you can see how everything sits in there, your poker and your one-hitter, and then you'd have your lighter. Or um, another one-hitter, potentially. Or I guess you could even stick a nug in there. I wouldn't stick a nug in there, just for the simple fact that it could get stuck. I have some weed stuck in there, because I have good... Good thing that's not glass. That was not a glass, uh, glass fucking one-hitter. That have sucked. But, as you can see... I put some weed in there, and yeah, you're not really supposed to. That's for your lighter. But as you can see, that's all nice stainless steel inside there, or anodized, anodized aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I can't talk. I'm a little high. Let's finish this bong rip, and I'll let you boys out of here. <clears throat> Hope everyone's having a good week. So far, my week hasn't been too bad. Uh, just been chilling. But, yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe. Uh, drop a like. Comment. Let me know what you guys are smoking on. Uh, let me know if you guys like this dugout. If you guys would possibly grab one. If, if you guys do want this, I'll drop a link in the description below for you. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers, dudes. Hell yeah. Nice rip. I try not to pull anything through the bowl into the bong because, I mean, it just kind of makes the bong a little bit dirtier. But I have noticed since cleaning it with uh, the bleach, it even stays cleaner. Like, it just looks clean even after hitting it. Like, used, used to, this would be cloudy as hell. I mean, it's not perfect, but I, Damn. I'm over here fumbling shit. Let's take another bong rip. I want to take one more rip with you guys before I go. Have a nice little sesh. Probably going to play some COD Mobile after this. Actually, you know what? I'll pack up a quick one hitter as well. Just just because. Why not? We'll have a one hitter. And we'll have 
Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's so much easier to fill this. I'm anal. I want that pack just right. I want an even, nice smoke. And I don't want any Scooby Snacks, so. Also, yeah, you will get some Scooby Snacks. If you don't pack this just right, you will get Scooby Snacks. That is a thing. There's the hole, though. So, I mean, the hole's not crazy big, and the hole inside's about that size after it gets out of the bowl. But anyways, let's hit this one-hitter, and then I'll snap that bowl through. We'll try to do this in the same breath. Cheers. I thought I could. I packed that nice. Damn, she even stayed lit. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's make sure this is finished. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead. Knock that around, try to get some of those ashes off. Um, actually, here, we'll let that cool down a bit, and I'll smack this. Cheers, guys. This is a long video, so I hope you guys seshed along with me. Hope you guys enjoy. Cheers. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh man. My mouth caked. That's the one thing about this. You know, you're going to get like that metal pipe flavor from this for sure. Like it's just going to taste. I mean, sometimes you can taste the weed afterwards, but if you take really hot hits out of this, you're going to have that hot like metal taste but overall you know for what it is for on the go you know you can throw this in your bag you're not gonna have to worry about anything breaking any glass breaking you're not gonna have to honestly if you're forgetful you can go ahead pack this the day beforehand you know have this ready for on the go toss in your bag forget about it you have your weed in there pipe lighter <laughs> and a grinder <coughs> Damn, I did good this whole video. <coughs> Till just now. I didn't cough at all. Alright. Hold on. Let me grab my poker. That is, it is nice that you have everything here that you really need to smoke. Good. I'm kind of just... I just kind of clean off the top ash and then just kind of tap it. All that loose uh, ash you knocked off will fall out and you'll be left with something about like that. I swear that's not empty. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's ashes now. Before it looked like a metal screen. I don't know why it looked like a metal screen. But anyways, let's finish this out, and I'm going to head out. This is already about 25 minutes long, damn. Yeah, they went out. Alright, again, I'm just going to kind of press this down. You Or kind of break it loose as well. Not completely loose because you don't want this going down in your mouth. I hate getting burnt Scooby snacks in my mouth. That's the worst, bro. Anyways, cheers. Alright, that's definitely because she's... Um, yeah, she's cash. 100%. So, again with the poker. Yeah, I don't like how it burns my lip. 
Definitely need another one hitter to supply into my into my thing. Uh, set this over here so I can clean that beforehand. And then usually what I do is give it a quick blow so anything loose is going to go ahead and blow out. And then again, I don't know why I'm showing you guys me putting it up again because I already showed you, but I'm stoned and yeah. It's just like cleaning oil off your, off the dipstick, bro. Basically. I don't know. I'm, I'm stoned. I'm just talking. Uh, it's always fun to sesh with some new toys, you know. You will get some resin on your mouth from heavy smoke and if you get it hot enough. Okay. We're good. Cool. But yeah, guys. That was the 3-in-1. Uh, Stash, grinder, metal dugout off Amazon. I will have the link in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go ahead, have a cigarette, chill, and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, and uh, be sure to subscribe. As always, it's been your boy Exelica, fist bump.